Ivy left off? Mm-hmm. Durin left off? Durin, I can understand. Okay. Durin, I can understand. Jaden Ivy should have been first team All NBA rookie. It's pretty crazy that he didn't. And it's pretty crazy that this is just another year of, of the disrespect towards Detroit rookies. This is just another year of the NBA voters not knowing what they're talking about when it comes to vo- voting for a rookie. And it's kind of embarrassing at this point. Like, you're going to tell me you're going to watch Jaden Ivy, see what he's been doing all year, see how much he's grown throughout the season, how big of a role he's had to take on with the absence of Kate Cunningham, and tell me he wasn't first team all rookie. You're going to tell me you take all those guys in that first team over Jaden Ivy. You're fucking stupid. It's just not true. It's not true. He put on a great performance, did a lot more than he was originally asked to do with the absences and the injuries, was the best player on the team for majority of the season, and you're going to tell me that's not first team all rookie. I don't know what these guys are voting for. I don't know what they're voting on. I don't know if it's wins, if it's success of the season, if it's success of the team. Because, yeah, Orlando, Orlando had a better season. Paulo, definitely first team all rookie. That's not questionable. Walker Kessler, yeah, yeah, he should have been he should have been the big man, the center of first team all rookie. I'll take that. Jay Will is like he had what a good a very good last month of the year. He he was good in the beginning. He 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 was all right it, in the very beginning. He was all right. He's getting minutes. He's doing fine. He got better and then he got hot in the last year. And obviously OKC had a great season. But Jaden Ivey was very, very good from the beginning of the season for the totality of the NBA season. And you're going to tell me that he didn't deserve that nod over him. Or Benedict Matherin, who was the opposite of Jay Will, started off hot and then tapered off hard as the season went along. This guy, Jaden Ivey, consistently was good and just got better as the season went on. It's not like he started off slow like Jay Will and just tore it up in the last month. It's not like he started out hot like Benedict Matherin and then fell off towards the end of the season. He was consistently good all year and was playing his best ball at the end of the season in a situation where he was asked to do more than originally thought of. It's not only sucks that there isn't a guard on that first team all NBA roster, but the one deserving of it got left off for why? Because his team didn't perform? Because the Pistons were a bad team? That's not what this is. All NBA rookie team, rookie of the year, all of that shit. That's not a team goal. That is not a a wins driven stat. That is individual player performance. Who are the five best rookies in the league this year? If you're telling me Jay Nivey is one of the five best rookies in the league this year, you are stupid. It's not true. So take out the team success for individual based awards. It's who had the best year, who performed the best, who turned heads the most. And Jaden Ivey is one of the five best rookies in the NBA this year. Flat.